Hey guys, so we are doing two spring looks today with Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's Palette. And I have this slush palette. I've used it on a few videos. I want to say at least four or five videos each time I kind of bitch about it because look how beautiful this is. But then they look nothing like this on the eyes. When you put any of these on the eyes, they all look like a completely different color. They're dry, they don't pick up a lot of pigment, like you have to keep packing it over and over. So when I saw this, from Juvia's Place, I was like, ooh, they're both like square, like it has the same vibe. I'm gonna have to retire this guy because I've tried using it as much as I could to my advantage and I feel like this could replace her. So yeah, we are doing two spring looks, this one and this look. So I'm gonna mention in my video that I just got done watching a Firefly Lane and I feel like this is such like a Tully look. This is more Tully and then the next one's like a more Kate look, even though Tully's eyeshadow is usually blue. And I just threw on the blue heart earrings, Tully heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I have to like show it more because I'm gonna have to wash this off and then move on to the next look, but I'm really loving this look. So I have not touched anything in here. These are all brand spanking new. And usually when I draw a line to do that like winged out cut crease, I would need a deeper color and Sweet Lilac isn't a really deep purple. So I'm gonna stick to Juvia's Place, but I'm gonna use the purple in here. Still one of my favorite purples. I haven't used that in the longest time. And of course the day I finally have time to film, that's like when my skin likes to be mean and break out. This look, especially when I wing it out here, it is gonna look so uneven because I have like a tiny little pimple there. I can have perfect skin the whole week. But then the day I plan to film, that's when my face decides to break out. I'm really hoping that Juvia's Place is way better than the slush September Rose. If you want to see looks from this palette, I have a bunch. I don't know where my expectations lie. They're not high, but they're not low either. I was like, I kind of need something to replace this. See, look how beautiful that looks. Like it looks beautiful, but on the eyes, just it doesn't. So I feel like this is the closest, and yeah, it scares me because they look so similar with the square pans. So I'm going in with Sweet Lilac. Okay, Sweet Lilac blended out the darker purple really nicely. Okay, before I blend that out some more, I want to try Lilac U. Since that is the lighter purple, I'm going to go in with a small taper blending brush. Oh no, that's really nice and bright. Oh, I really like that. Never thought I would like pastel color, but that's really pretty. Okay, these are doing well. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and then clean up the edges of that. So last night, I just finished well, I didn't technically finish it. I'm in the middle of the last episode of Firefly Lane, and this is giving me very like Tully vibes. I feel like the purple look with how cutesy it is could be Tully. Oh my gosh, how could I forget the other girl's name when like that's all I've been watching? Hold on. Kate? That was her name? Why does that not sound? I literally just finished watching it and I don't even remember her name. Kate, okay. I don't know why I keep wanting to call her Maddie. Maybe because her last name's Malarkey. Oh, probably because Hubby always calls her malarkey. Anyway, so I was watching that last night, the last episode, and the episodes before that, oh my gosh, like I had to turn off the TV because I was just crying so much during the last episodes and I couldn't handle the actual last episode. I was just like, I can't, I've been crying the past three, four episodes and I know how the last episode's gonna end. They really make you fall in love with those girls. Like they show you their childhood and then they show you their young adult life and then they show you their adult life. Episode after episode, you know them, you know? Anyways, my point was, I didn't realize till this morning that this could totally be like Tully's look. And the next one, since it's a little more chill, could be Kate's look. So we're gonna go in with Blooming. That's what Blooming looks like. That's so pretty. Again, why haven't I seen anyone? Ooh. <sighs> I did not expect it to go on that well. Okay, wow. Wow, that is gorgeous. Holy crap. I swear the camera and lights just don't know when to pick up stuff because when it looks freaking gorgeous in person, I feel like the camera cannot pick that up. Okay, I have no idea how I'm gonna fill up here. Because I don't think it's gonna go on with a brush. Not as pretty as Blooming, but that's Purple Orchid. See right here, that looks so beautiful. And this is Flower Child. Ooh, I thought I would be pr putting Purple Orchid at the end, but this is way deeper. Would it look better like this and then this? 
or this and then this. Uh, this feels like an end color. Okay, that was very pretty beside it. Okay, and let's see what this one would look like at the end. I feel like that fade could work. Even though the end one is a lot lighter than this, I feel like since this is more purpley and this has a little bit more navy, like that could be. Ooh, no, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's just stick to that, just so I don't overthink. Okay, wow, I really didn't think I was gonna like this palette. Cause like I said, everything looked like patchy or too pastel. See, this is easy if you don't do a cut crease like this. You just tap it on, just tap them next to each other and they just blend so beautifully together. Bluish, grayish, purple one at the end. Okay, since I couldn't do blue eyeshadow, I just put on blue earrings. This is giving very like Regina George wore blank, so I wore blank. Tilly Hart, her name's Tilly Hart in Firefly Line. Tilly Hart wore blue eyeshadow, so I wore blue eyeshadow. I'm actually really liking this. It's looking very spring. It is. It's giving very spring, right? So I'm just gonna put all three of the purple shades I put on the crease. Again, I'm so used to pastels not working because my pastels all came from the slush palette. And I just assumed all pastels would be dry, but these are doing really well. I'm very scared because if you've heard or seen anything about this, it is very pigmented. Very pigmented isn't so much a good thing. People have been comparing this so much to the Rare Beauty one. It does make sense since this is more catered to deeper skin tone, so obviously you need more pigment. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I will show you how little you need. It will cover your whole face. I'll try two different methods just so I know the best way to work with this. So you see that? You do not want that. <laughs> Okay, you need to wipe that off. Even if you get just just the tip, it's it's way too much. You gotta wipe that off. Put some on the back of your hand. You do not want to use this directly onto your cheeks. So I want to try it first with the stippling brush. Just gonna go like that. <laughs> See, that's very nice and pastel, and I feel like just works with this look so much. See, very simple. Again, that's how I would like my blush. And with how little that was, I'm never gonna finish this bottle. Okay, so I really wanna see what it looks like with a blender and see what looks better. See, if I put this directly on my cheeks, that would cover my whole face. I'm not even joking. That's how it would look like if you did it like an intense look. But that is it sheared out, which I think is freaking gorgeous. Why does that look so different? Why does that look like almost red or pink, right? This looks like so pastel and this looks red almost. Okay, you know what? Let me put foundation over this just to cover that up. That's the one thing I don't like for the liquids. Yeah, I have to wipe off some more compared to the creams is that you kind of have to put it on the back of your hand because if you don't, like it can get really patchy versus the creams where you can kind of control it since it's not so liquidy because with the liquids, they just keep going and going and going. But yeah, that is the blush like mellowed out and that is it more intense. But I do like it. <laughs> See, at least with this color, this one's unique because so many blushes, all of them at the end of the day, when you blend them out, like the colors always kind of look the same. This is so pastel and cool toned and lilac-y, like it's very different from the other shades. I really like this shade. Also another reason I wanted to do this look was so that I can use my favorite highlighters again because I haven't used these in so long. So I'm gonna be using Space Baby. It's been forever. Literally go to any blue look I have and I'm probably wearing Space Baby. Like, no joke. Ah, oh, yes. It's been so long. I feel like this will always be my favorite, like, colorful highlighter. Okay, and for lipstick, I'm stuck between Sugar Pills Cherish. This has more mauve nude in this. And Juvia's Place Mademoiselle. This is more, like, peachy nude. Ooh, I don't know. Would that be too pink mauve? I feel like this is such a good like Coachella spring festival look, right? I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this look just because I don't like pastels. I don't like, well yeah, just, just <laughs> I just don't like pastels, but I, I'm really loving this look. So this look is my favorite look to do on myself. I just, I don't know, I feel like it looks really good on me. It's not too much, it's nice and like springy. Okay, let's go in with Marigold, the yellow. And that is usually how I start my other look. I think I do a yellow, orange, and then like an orangey brown. I'm just gonna tap it on first.
Yellow is very nice and bright. Yeah, like I said, if this was gonna be a look, this would be Kate's look. So Kate's the more like quiet, shy, not popular girls. I swear they always have to do that. They always have to have the best friend who's like popular and gorgeous and then the quiet mysterious one. And we all know she's gorgeous once you take those glasses off. Well, I mean, she's gorgeous with the glasses on, but they always make it seem like Oh, she's so nerdy and she's not cute because she's wearing glasses. And then you magically take the glasses off and then everyone's like, Oh, she's hot, you know? It, it's that vibe. But yeah, so far so good. The yellow's doing good. Okay, next let's go in with Peony. I don't know why I had little faith in this when every single Juvia's palette like blends out beautifully. Except the brown one, which is funny because usually browns are easiest. That was my least favorite palette from Juvia's Place. Browns were very, very muddy. They're colorfuls, like Juvia's Place can really do colorful eyeshadows. Okay, now let's go with Oh Honey. Okay, Oh Honey is not looking as dark as I would like it to. You know, I would usually use a deeper brown for the outer third right here when I do this look, but Oh Honey is barely showing up. I'll just use the deep brown that's in the Zulu palette. This deep brown. I mean, technically I could have done this look with the Zulu palette. Yellow, orange, pink, brown. So I guess you don't need a garden palette to do this look. Okay, that is not packing on well. Very strange. Maybe it's the brush. Like I need a deep, deep brown and that is not giving me that deep of a brown. Like see, you can barely, you can barely see it. Okay, my kimchi chic better save me because I love these browns. If these browns don't save me, then it's probably the brush or something with my lid. Kind of showed up, right? Okay, that's so weird. This color is so easy to blend. But I just feel like my eye's not really picking up anything. It's not the shades because if my other eyeshadows, the ones that I always fall back to, are looking weird, then I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is not looking like what I wanted. Oh, that sucks. Kind of want to try daffodil, but... I don't think daffodil would look good with this. Not as bright as that color. Actually looks green, right? Doesn't it look green? Before I cut the crease, let's go in with gardenia. It's pretty white. Like, doesn't it look really white? But in the pan, it's like a peachy white. Oh, that's crazy. It looks straight up white. It's looking pretty bad right now. Again, that's what always happens. I thought this look would be the easy, really pretty, good looking one. And that the other one would be the really hard, not so good looking one. So again, we're gonna try Blossom. Oh, that's so weird. It looks exactly like the purple. Here we have Blossom and Blooming. Again, Blooming is the more purple one. Do they not look super similar? Just Blooming has just a little bit purple in there. Just like I expected, this is more pink. I don't know, the pink's not packing on really well. But let me show you what my favorite color is to do with this look. JD Glow's Star Luster. So this is a eyeshadow I always use. So that's Star Luster, you see how nice and peach and pink and rose gold that is? And this is the Juvia's Place one that I kind of wanted to see if it would replace it. But obviously it will not replace it because they're very different. The pink barely clung on to the lid. Like you can see more of the concealer than the pink. Out of all the glitters I've tried, Blossom was like the worst one. Okay, so that was the closest I'm gonna get to my favorite look. I mean, it's there. It's just that it's just a lid color. It's pretty light. Now we're gonna try Honest Beauty's Peony Pink. I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender and then I'm gonna try it with a brush. Okay, that was bright. Let me dab some, yeah, jeez. Oh, Again, I have to learn from these blushes that I should just dab it in once, cause that is strong. I don't know, I thought this would be more peachy, but it's going on very smooth. I noticed with the Juvia's Place one, it was a little patchy but this is like a very smooth color like same with the formula like it's not sticking to any weird places you like this is good pigment right there that's too much it looks like there's a little bit of sheen in there right i'm liking this more than the rare beauty one but i think it blends beautifully the glow is really pretty i would have probably gone with something a little bit more orangey or coral for this look but again i wanted to try out the peony pink what I used when I wore this look for my favorites video, I used the Tower 28 Rush Hour and I feel like that worked perfectly with that. See how this is more coral orangey? See, this is just a perfect look for this. We're gonna go in with Cloud 9. This is the more pinky highlighter. 
Does it look like I put anything on? I mean, the glow is already there from the blush. Let's try again. Oh, I can see it right there. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Okay, let me try it on this side. The highlighter is just looking like an extension of the blush. Okay, now we can go in with the Juvia's Place Mademoiselle. Okay guys, that is a more peachy look. From here, you can kind of see it, but again, it's not as intense as I would like it to be. Let's see what it looks like with my glasses since this is supposed to be Kate's look. Oh, it does not look good with the ring light. I mean, this would be totally Kate's look. It's very simple and easy and girly. Oh, but I would totally wear this with my glasses. I feel like it's not too much. It kind of like helps accentuate the look. So yeah, that is our second spring look. Tell me if you liked one more than the other. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.